Hey, Anna. Hey, what? Hey, Beth. Hi. Would you like to hear about what I had to do today? <laughs> Other than working? It was something that happened at work. Okay. I had to make the walk of shame today. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh, what do you mean? So, what? Um, so I was closing at work, and at the end of the day, we take all of our... Um, for context, I work at Undisclosed Coffee Shop. Um, and <laughs> it is not National Chain Coffee Shop. No. <laughs> um, and at the end of the day, we take all of our expired products and we shove them all into a bag uh-huh. and we send them off to be donated to Undisclosed Charity. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I was shoving things into the bag and I had it on top of our like big old ice bin and I was rolling them down at the same time. Um, and then I, I get to the bottom of the ramp that I was on oh. and I step on something. And I look at what I have stepped on and realize I have left a trail of donuts behind me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, all right. First off, my brain immediately went, how was there dog shit in there? (laughs) No, I was like, okay, so she, someone like shat on the floor or like a piece of toilet paper was on the ground and you stepped on it. I love that you left, like, a trail. Yep. Like, Hansel and Gretel, follow the donuts to find harmony. Yep. So I had to make the walk of shame all the way back up that donut trail and pick them all up to throw them away. You know, at least you didn't get lost. <laughs> um, but I'm very glad that it was it was pretty empty in, in the building. Because... Could you just imagine if someone was just watching it happen? <laughs> you would have been a trending TikTok. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen that. Now, can you ask for the security camp? <laughs> no. Fuck. I think you should. I will not. I love the thought of you just, like, nicely walking down. You're just going along, and it's just like, boop, boop, boop. Were they evenly spaced? <laughs> not really. Oh. oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, thank you for sharing that, was, that. That was my walk of shame today. <laughs> that is the weirdest walk of shame I've ever heard of, but you I'd know. rather have that as my walk of shame oh, than absolutely. anything else. <laughs> Why did I write this? Brought to you by the record button. Welcome to Why Did I Write This, the podcast where we read bad writing so you don't have to. <laughs> I'm Beth. I'm, I'm Brandiana. <laughs> She's your bread on Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm Harmony. No bread involved here. <laughs> She's feeling very yeasty today. <laughs> oh, no. I get that. I understand. <laughs> we're, we're starting this episode off real good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeasty boy, let's go. <laughs> So listen. Oops. <laughs> so uh, I was going through some of my old documents or whatever shit that I wrote way back in the day, back when I was like super duper edgy, right? Okay. When did you stop? Oh shit. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so I found first off, I found like a really short Beatles fic. It's like two pages, so okay, we can handle that. I, I think we miss hanging out with the Beatles. No, um, <laughs> not one bit. <laughs> I never want to see toothless grin ever again in my life. Is this before or after you went back in time to kill Mark Chapman? Uh, I think this was after. Yeah, it was after it's the timeline where John lives. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um. And then I also found a poem that mm-hmm. I wrote. Wow. Um, and I gave it a nice title. <laughs> oh, no. And I will share that when we get to that point. Okay. So, Ran Rap, what do you have to share today? Um, I have a special story mm-hmm. that um, you two have heard before, but it's been almost a year. We used it when we were first recording the podcast and we were doing our test episode. Oh, damn. Okay. Yep. Well, the good news is I have a memory of a goldfish, so I don't remember it. Good. That's ah. what I'm banking on. <laughs> I remember like one word. 
<laughs> you remember one word? One very specific word. Out of a word. whole story, you only remember one word that yeah. I used in it. Yeah. Murka. Murka. What? Murka, right? Mur- Maybe. Murka. <laughs> okay. So anyway, Beth, you didn't read anything today, right? No. Because of... <laughs> Great. So let's go ahead and get started with one of uh my pieces here. Okay. Uh, As in, you want me to read it, or you're just showing the world that I have nothing? <laughs> I'm showing the world that you don't have anything at this point. Oh, okay. In time. You're calling me out. I see how it is. We're fighting after. <laughs> Bring it, bitch. <laughs> so I want to start off with uh, my poem that I wrote. Uh-huh. It didn't have an official title until today. Oh, oh no. And okay. I called it OMG Anna, you edgy bitch. That's wow, a good title. That's a good poem. <laughs> it's not the poem. It's a whatever. <laughs> it's a good title. <sighs> okay. That is so long. <laughs> Listen, it's not quite Shakespeare length, so she's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. right. I ain't no Poe, but I'm something. <laughs> Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar oh, Allen my Poe brain went. It. My brain went somewhere else. I thought you were talking about Teletubbies. <laughs> we don't need a guest appearance no, from Poe please, the Teletubbies. No, read this poem. <laughs> okay. Mm. How could I have once looked up to you when all you've done is made yourself unlike the image I have seen? Those pretty pictures of you, so polite, were they all... Were they all a meaning of nothing? Listen to my story about how all the ones I thought to be the bomb just gave me a frown. I can't believe that you put the (laughs) phrase the bomb in an edgy poem about someone losing their (laughs) self-image. Well, I want you to pay attention and see if you know who I'm talking about. I'm sure I will. I have a few options in mind already. Let's start with P, J, G, R. All of them have something to say. (laughs) To me, P seemed fatherly and warm. But all he turned out to be was a whore. (laughs) Ma'am, this is a podcast, not a therapy session. J was actually violent and then meant nothing to me, and G was a loser who passed on girls with a st- <laughs> his fingers. R just seemed to be the most normal, but until I find out more, he is my symbol. No, no, no. I have two thoughts in okay, mind here. So I'm and- 90% sure I know who J is. <laughs> is-, is. Is this a fucking Beatles? Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, it gets better. Hold on. <laughs> then there comes the first of my heroes. Oh, so cool with their dark baggy clothes. Oh! Their names are F, G, Star, M, and B, who just won't listen to me. I don't blame them. I wouldn't them. want to either. <laughs> How could I thank them if they'd never had the pleasure to come and see some fans in my homeland? Your homeland? <laughs> I wish I could it sound like you're an international like student. I wish I could, but I know that they could never be there for me. So what's the point in having them be my obsession? There's no direction. Everyone, it seems, turns their back to me. <laughs> ma'am. Oh. Ma'am, you've oh. got some issues with parasocial relationships. <laughs> hey, when's your next therapy appointment? Uh, I haven't scheduled it since January. Okay, maybe you should. <laughs> <laughs> How could I have looked up to you? You were never there for, so what's the point? You didn't... <laughs> what? That's, that's what it says. You were never there for, what's the point? I, I love that these, you know, band members that just have millions of fucking fans around the world were not here for Anna in her time of need. Yeah, how dare they? How dare, <laughs> how dare they not be there for Anna? Therefore, for Anna specifically. <laughs> yeah. I was in her the main character. I can't believe they wouldn't take the time to come to her homeland. <laughs> 
You didn't have the decency to spend some time with me. How were they going to? I think I hate you, but I'm not too oh, sure. Oh, for fuck's sake. I wish I knew. My family, it looks like, just doesn't care about the drama with my hair. And my clothes <laughs> should have fit me so in. Because your hair stinks. <laughs> and you want strawberries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll admit, some have it worse. But it's about me, so I can burst. Sure, life sucks, but when you look through, who can you trust to point you in the right direction? <laughs> you had one rhyme out of that whole thing. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, for the love of God. I have one more stanza. <laughs> There's too many evil people and assholes around here, so why should I have a hero? I just realized they were never there for me, and now I'm done. It's come to see. Just listen. Don't look up to me. <laughs> what in the fuck is happening? Did you like it? I'm no. Being real, I'm pretty sure I just dissociated to the last <laughs> half of that. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I I think you need a restraining order. Uh, against who? Myself? Yes. yes. <laughs> How do you go about doing that? Well... I don't know, but well, figure I, it out. <laughs> figure it out, especially because you're supposed to be going to a show, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think you should take this to the show and, <laughs> and tell them. And about just our read podcast. it to them. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. Be like, hey, I, I will be. I will get a lifetime ban, and that would make me kind of sad. Uh, anyway, <laughs> even more sad than. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> even more sad than you are about them not being there for you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anna, who lives in the middle of butt fuck nowhere. In my homeland. <laughs> Fucking homeland. I think that's the thing that gets me the most, is you calling it your homeland. I, okay, I'm not gonna lie. At first I thought you were talking about boyfriends. And then I'm like... Same. No, these like, initials do not sound like people that I know you've dated before. <laughs> I, I was super confused, because there's a lot of people in our life that have, um had some changes of, of um, mm -hmm. character. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so that's what I thought you were going for at nope. first. And no. Nope. Nope. It's so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to read what you got next, baby? I will absolutely read what I have next. Cool. So this story is titled Daydreams Number One. Okay. Okay. Ember sighed to herself as she stood against the fence surrounding the field. Being in human high school marching band was very new and very strange to her. Admittedly, though, it was a lot of fun. In fact, it was her second year marching with this particular band. There was only a few problems that she had with it. One, she didn't have many friends. Danielle and Aria were there, but that leads to the next two problems. Two, Aria was in color guard, and she never had any idea where to find her. Three, mm. Danielle was always hanging out with four, Nathan. <laughs> These names this... sound very reminiscent of people that I know of your past. Uh, it's not the exact names, but yeah, situation seems a little <laughs> similar. Yes, um, it is. It is edgy stuff. I'm vaguely remembering based off this. of mm -hmm. um, real events but also definitely not real events that have happened. <laughs> uh -huh. Does an instrument get run over? No, not this time. This That happened my senior year. That's unfortunate. <laughs> this is only my sophomore year. Oh, okay. The most pathetic, annoying, terrible, cruel, and rude human being Ember had ever had the displeasure to meet, especially after all he put Danielle through. He put her through so much, and still, no matter what Ember would tell her, Danielle never listened, and it hurt her so much. Ember believed that maybe one day her friend would change, but she just couldn't see it happening anytime soon. Mm. She sighed again and applauded for the band that had just finished, even though she hadn't really been listening or watching them at all. What's the point, she asked herself. Why have any friends if you're just going to abandon them for a prick? <laughs> Different perspective. Seriously? Oh. Ember's eyes suddenly filled with tears at the memory of that cruel conversation. At least, it was cruel for her. I mean, how would you feel if you found out that you basically care about everyone more than they care about you? Mm. That's yeah. deep. That's Hit the soul. 
that's some uh, high school friendship. That is. It really is. That's, yeah. Yeah. To distract herself, Ember closed her eyes as she listened to the next band march out to perform. Suddenly, some impossible, well, knowing her luck with Destiny at least, scenarios began playing out in her head. Destiny as in like Destiny the person or just Destiny as the concept? Both. Okay. Oh, hey, Ember, what are you doing all alone? I thought you were with Danielle and Nathan, the familiar voice of one of her band directors said. Ember looked over at them, giving them her best fake smile. I was, she exclaimed, but I'm not really fond of Nathan. He can be kind of, well, rude to me at times. (laughs) I didn't really want to be around them anymore, so I came over here. (laughs) What are you laughing at? Oh, man. Is Nathan Caillou Kid? Nathan is not <laughs> Caillou Kid. I was, I never had any sort of relationship with Caillou Kid outside of him being Caillou Kid. <laughs> I need a, I need some more insight here. I don't think it's appropriate for the podcast, but I will tell you after this recording. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, he says understanding, understandingly. Aren't you lonely? You have no idea. Not really. I'm used to being alone. I quite like it sometimes, she tells him. You don't even want to hang out with Arya, he asks. I looked for her. I couldn't find her anywhere. That sucks. Don't you have any other friends in the band you want to hang out with? Ember laughs. No, not really. I'm not a very social person, so I don't make friends easily. I see. Hmm. Well, how about I ask around to see if anyone has seen Arya? If I find her, I'll send her this way, he says with a smile. Ember gives him another fake smile and a thumbs up. (laughs) Not a fuckboy one, please. (laughs) Alright, thank you, she says. He walks off and Ember turns her attention back to the field until something catches her eye a few feet away from her. Too bad, she was just out of earshot. It was the band director that had just spoken to her. What? (laughs) It was... Okay. (laughs) I formatted the sentence weird. It was the band director that had just spoke with her and Jay Miller. Jay. The one human Ember didn't understand her emotions for. It was almost as if she really wanted to befriend them, but wanted to kiss him at the same time. Is this Blender? It is Blender. It's Blender Weed Whacker Honeybee. That's a long name. <laughs> That's just all of the different nicknames that I have for him. That could have been your last name. No. <laughs> Harmony Weed Whacker. It's also not his real last name. <laughs> uh, ba, ba, ba. The only difference between friendships and relationships for Ember, it was just the same, but you just want to hug and kiss them and all that couple stuff that you don't want to do with your friends. <laughs> 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 Hey, Beth. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I was just going to ask you something later. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Ember then realized that said boy was heading straight her way. Her cheeks flushed a light blue because she's, you know, she doesn't she's have regular fancy, blood. Yeah, she's got the fancy blood. And she turned her head so as to avoid the... I cannot read today. Do you need some help? No, it's fine. (laughs) She turned her head so as to avoid eye contact. Jay stopped right next to her and leaned against the fence, his arm brushing lightly against her own. Oh, touching arm. (laughs) Touching you. (laughs) Velcro hair. What? (laughs) Velcro arm hair. (laughs) <laughs> That's a concept for another day, I think. Good. <laughs> After a moment of, moment of silence between the two of them, Ember turned her head back towards the field and took a deep breath. Hey, she says quietly. Hey, Ember, he replies. Not hanging out with your friends, she asks. Nah, they were getting a bit bothersome, you know. Yeah, I can understand that. Hey, Beth. <laughs> no. Am I bothersome? <laughs> Sometimes. No, Winnie the Pooh, you are not. Oh, bother. <laughs> Thank you. 
So why aren't you hanging out with Nathan and um, Danielle? He asks, guessing her name. Yeah, I despise Nathan, and Danielle is, I'm just guessing, but I'm sure she's still in love with him, even though he's a huge prick. Jay laughs at her comment, and Ember smiles slightly. Oh yeah, I get that completely. He's the most annoying person I know. Seriously, she likes him? How? They both laugh at this. Honestly, I don't know. Doesn't surprise me, really, Ember says with a shrug. I mean, she can be just as bad. Then again, so can I. You shouldn't say that about yourself, Jay says, a serious tone replacing his previous joking one. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't, but it is true. In fact, she's better than me, in every way. Hmm. <laughs> Anna, you have a look on your face that um, says differently. I'm just thinking. <laughs> Jay turns to face her and makes her turn as well, grabbing both her shoulders and giving her a sad look. Hey, he says, hey, he says, why are you going to pet my head? That's my shoulder. Why are you gripping my shoulder? That's what Jay's doing. Yeah, she's being supportive. I don't like this. <laughs> hey, he says, don't you dare compare yourself to her. Don't compare yourself to anyone. You're just different. I mean, even though you're an alien girl with gray skin, horns, and fire for blood, doesn't make you any less of a person. She's not like other girls. No, she's Literally, not. she's a fucking alien. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, same. Doody doody doopy doody. It's the non copyrighted version. Beautiful rendition. Thank you. <laughs> Ember uh -huh. gives a weak smile. Even though I'm on a planet full of humans, I'm still seen the same as on Mirica. Hey, there's that wow. word you're talking that, about. I cannot believe this entire fucking story. <laughs> That's the one you remember. <laughs> I'm just I'm not impressed. acceptable no. anywhere. I'm sorry. It's okay. Ember's sorry too. It's fine. <laughs> Jay pulls her into a hug that she reluctantly returns. And Don't she want to make out with him wildly? <laughs> <laughs> that no. was a look <laughs> no that's not how the rest of the story goes my bad no don't say these things about yourself you're not a bad person everyone just doesn't give you a chance to change because they always have to go out of their way to say something about it every time you try to that was a <laughs> sentence <laughs> I think you lost me about halfway through I'm not gonna me lie too. <laughs> it's alright I went on autopilot for that <laughs> uh huh Ember tenses up at these words. Here's the part that I hate. I remember hating this. Shh. Don't into the microphone. Don't. <laughs> Beth is trying to shush me with her lips. I, I mean, would. <laughs> shush my lips with her finger. We are not shushing. I, I greatly misspoke. <laughs> This has been an interesting episode. <laughs> We're friends. I don't like you that way. Ember smiles at these words. It was... Wait, I didn't finish that. <laughs> Sorry. I got so distracted, I didn't finish the sentence. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay, Em, he says. I care about you. Oh. <laughs> he didn't just shush her and then she smiled about it. <laughs> I love being shushed. <laughs> Happy faces. Ember smiles at these words. There was rarely a time she had ever heard them in her entire life. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Ember snaps out of her daydream, realizing the band that had been on had just finished. She looked around the area she was in, soaking in the reality around her. She looked over to see Jay standing around with his friends and what Ember assumed was his girlfriend. An empty pit formed in her stomach, and she sighed again. Ember looked over to see both her band directors talking to some other adult that she didn't recognize, and found Danielle and Nathan continuing to talk and laugh as if Ember hadn't even been there before. Well, Ember said to herself, a fake smile plastered on her face. A part of that was real. She began to laugh quietly at her own thought. I mean, after all, I am alone. Is that and it? I'm sorry. I'm still stuck on how shushing me with her lips. I don't think my brain's going to get that one out because I don't want that at all. 
I don't either. It's because you're friends. You don't. <laughs> oh, because they can yeah. think of things that you don't do with your friends. Exactly. Your mom wants to do with the friends, apparently. <laughs> no. <laughs> Welcome to the Granyard Box. What's she crying about? I'm having a crisis. <laughs> If you didn't know, I love turtles, I love tortoises, I just love animals so much, but one thing that kills me inside that I wish more people would realize is that turtles and tortoises are not the same thing. Turtles have the ability to swim, tortoises do not. So the one thing that kills me inside is when I see people mistaking tortoises for turtles and they're like I'm gonna set this turtle free and they throw it into like a lake <laughs> I just imagine that tortoise has got to be so confused <laughs> and so scared <sighs> like they're at the, they don't know <laughs> they can't swim they're just at the bottom of the lake like I don't know what's going on I just want the tortoises to be okay. <laughs> All right, I want to read this. Thank you very much. Um, because I just looked over, uh, and um, <laughs> just the title of this is Two Page Beetles. Two Page Beetles. Two Page Beetles. Because it's a two pager I... of beetles. <laughs> Only beetles. Just beetles <laughs> everywhere on the page. All the bugs. <laughs> oh God. Um, so this is this is Anna's uh, beetle fanfic. Mm -hmm. Was this before or after they were no longer your heroes? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously before. Oh okay. I, I was just. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out if it's edgy enough. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Bless our ears with this story. All right. <laughs> we're just jumping right in. I flashed to 1968 and ended up sitting next to John. He was smoking a cigarette and writing on a piece of paper. I leaned over and said, What you writing? He screamed and laughed heartily when he saw me beside him. Anna, what the hell you doing here? <laughs> That's what it says. I threw my arm around him and replied with an exasperated sigh. <sighs> I was bored as hell at home, so I came here to see you in your flowery glory? <laughs> what did he fucking mean by that? Because he was in the 60s. Flower power. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, okay. John wrapped his arm around my waist and held me close, even as he was writing. So what are you writing? A new song, but to you, it's probably not new. He shoved the paper toward me. Here, tell me what you think. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I scanned through to see what song he was working on. Hey, I know this song. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Only a northern song. Nice. I'm not done with it yet. I shrugged. So? I already know how it goes, so why should it matter to me? <laughs> He didn't answer me and continued working on his newer song. I sat there and was even more bored than ever. I waited for somebody to come in and entertain me. <laughs> he was princess over here. Damn. Excuse me, princess. <laughs> I sat there for about 10 minutes with nothing to do. That's too long. <laughs> hey, John, did you finish that? Paul came in and immediately noticed my presence. John, did you know that Anna's here? No. He quickly looked at me and smiled. Of course not, Paul. She's only been sitting here for an hour. Time goes fast. Damn. <laughs> that was 10 what? minutes. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Time goes fast. <laughs> no. I held up my hand to Paul as a half wave. <laughs> Sup, Paul? <laughs> Sup, Polly? <laughs> yep, sup, Polly. <laughs> he laughed heartily and exclaimed, 
Oh, God. I haven't seen you since 1962. What are you doing here? <laughs> Thank you. You're just jumping around to whichever time they're alive. <laughs> or why not? Oh my god. <clears throat> what are you- I haven't seen you since 1962. What are you doing here? I was born. I simply explain. Oh. I completely misheard you. I thought you said I was born. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was born. <laughs> oh, well, come here. I want a hug. He set down a folder he was holding and opened his arms for me to fall into. <laughs> what? Uh, what is your relationship with men? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I groaned with laziness. No, you come here. I'm too lazy to get up. I'm so quirky. I'm so lazy to get up, but I want to be entertained desperately. <laughs> I'm a quirky, lazy girl. <laughs> Fine. He came over to where I was and leaned forward to hug me a little too tightly. I missed you, Anna. Ew, don't whisper that in the microphone. <laughs> I hugged back. Uh, I hugged back, but after I let my arms droop, he still wouldn't let go. Dude, let go. He apologized and straightened himself. George, Ringo, get in here. John gazed up at him with annoyance, spelled out on his face. You're acting like we haven't seen her in 50 years, Paul. Relax a little. George and Ringo came bust bustling in, and I got to my feet. Anna! Ringo yelled with excitement. He ran over to me and scooped me up in his arms. Okay. Ringo was squeezing me so hard, I swore I lost circulation to my whole... Nope. In my whole upper <laughs> body. <laughs> yeah, Ringo, I missed you too. I freed myself from his grip, and George and I stared at each other. <laughs> uh-huh. Just be looking. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, George. I held out my hand for him to shake, but he simply pushed it down gently and pulled me into his body. <laughs> Why do you want to shake hands? Because she's Ever got know. a weird relationship with, with George. <laughs> and hands. Yeah. I just have a re weird relationship with all of them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what are you doing here? He murmured into my ear. Don't. We pulled away. Oh. <laughs> Woo. We pulled away, his hands trailing down my arms. I was really bored and I figured I'd give you guys a visit. Mm. I plopped down next to John again and he was eyeing me from the corners on his eyes. <laughs> Is he a lizard? <laughs> <laughs> Lizards don't have corner eyes. <laughs> they don't have. <laughs> Shut up, Anna. <laughs> yes, I asked him. Nothing. He put his arm around me and pulled me really close to him. I really missed you too. That's the end of the two fucking pages. <sighs> Good. Now sign me out. <laughs> Listen, I just I want to see all of your your files that uh. Are apparently so terrible and can't be shared with the world. Uh, no, you Manage don't. Manage your Google account. Manage Google account. <laughs> okay, well, Anna's managing her Google account. Uh, Harmony, <laughs> what can we do to get people to listen to this uh, mess? Uh, yeah, so interesting transition. Um, I never said I was good at them. <laughs> if you would like to follow us on social media or check out more stuff, in general, you can go to recordbuttongroup.com. We have links to our social media, our uh, Patreon, <laughs> which you can subscribe to get, to get a bunch of fun extra stuff. Um, and you can also go to trbmerchstore.threadless.com and check out our cool items we have for sale. Did you say rate and review us? Not yet. Rate and review us because we have a lot to say. You have a lot to say. Let's meet in the middle and you talk about how great we are. <laughs> <laughs> wow, a little full of ourselves. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, um, thank you for listening to this wonderful mix of bags. What? Mix a bag of writings. The mix a bag of writings. Mm -hmm. Uh, my name is Anna. 
am Harmony. I'm Beth. Uh, sorry, Brediana. Yeah. And you've been listening <laughs> to Why Did I Write This? Uh, join us next time. Love you. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> Why did I write this?